Teams is a Microsoft tools that allows you to host and create video meetings. As you may know, there are other tools to create video meetings like Google Meet and Zoom, just to mention some examples. If you have a Microsoft 365 business license, basic, standard or business premium, or an enterprise license, then you have a Microsoft Teams license included, and you can take advantage of features like longer meeting times. For basic features, you can use Microsoft Teams for free. My name is Carlos, and in this video, I will show you how to schedule a Microsoft Teams meeting from Outlook Desktop and also from Outlook Online. You can also schedule a meeting from Microsoft Teams app, but this is a subject for another video, which by the way, I have a link here. Let's now jump to my computer and see how you can schedule it from Outlook. We will start with Outlook on my desktop. I mean the Outlook app that is installed in my computer. By the way, what we will see here applies to Outlook Classic, which is what we have here on the screen, and the new Outlook version as well. There are different ways to schedule a meeting within Outlook. For example, we can click on the upper left corner where we can see new items. And then we can click on meeting. It will automatically open the window to schedule the meeting. We can add a title to the meeting. For example, sales meeting. Then we can click here and add the people that we want to invite. We will add a couple of persons. We can add more people here as optional. We can select here the date when the meeting is going to take place. And of course, we can select the time. By default, the meeting will last 30 minutes. But of course, we can modify that. The location is going to be Microsoft Team Meetings. However, in case this is going to be a hybrid meeting, we can click here and select a room for the meeting. The information about the meeting is right here. We have the meeting ID and the passcode. But also we have the link for the meeting. We can click here directly and it will open Microsoft Teams and will take us to the meeting. If we want to add any additional information, we can write it here. When we are ready with all the settings, we can click on Send. At this point, the meeting has been scheduled. If we go to our calendar, we will see that our meeting has been added. The day of the meeting, we can double click here and it will open the invitation and we can click on the link right here. A different option to schedule a meeting is within the calendar itself. We can select a date and then we can click on New Teams Meeting. The same form will open and we will be ready to complete all the settings. The title, the people that is required, the optional people for the meeting, the date, and so on. When we open the invitation, we can also join the meeting by clicking here, Join Teams Meeting. We have now switched to our new Outlook version. Here you can click on the upper left corner, on the new email, and then we can click on event. We can add the title, as we did before. We can enter the email addresses of the people that we want to invite. We can toggle on or off if it is going to be a Teams meeting. On the right, we can select the date and time for the meeting. When all the information is complete, we can click on Send. The invitation has been sent. If I go to my calendar by clicking on the left, under Calendar, we will find that our meeting has been added to my calendar. If I double click, the invitation will open and I will have the option to join the meeting and also the option to click right here on the meeting link. If for any reason we want to cancel the meeting, we just right click and then click on cancel. If I click send, it will remove the meeting from my calendar and it will also send an email letting know the people that the meeting has been cancelled. Let's now switch to my Outlook Online. 
within my Microsoft account. We can click on Outlook and it will open the Outlook Online or the webmail version for Microsoft Outlook. As we can see here, it looks very similar to the new Outlook version on your desktop. You can click here on the new email and click on event. The form to invite the people to a new meeting will be very similar to the form that we saw on Outlook desktop. In the same way, if we click on the calendar, we can also click on the date, then new event, and we can complete the form. The day of the meeting, we can double click here and it will open the invitation. We can click on join or we can also click on the link for the meeting. To cancel a meeting within Outlook Online, we can right click and then we can click on cancel as we did in the Outlook desktop version. Well, there you have it. These are some ways to schedule a Microsoft Teams meeting. You may have a different preferred tool for video meetings. However, I have found useful to know how to have video meetings with different tools. If you have found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. If you have any question or need for an assistant, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Remember, stay secure, stay tech savvy.